Leadership of the aggrieved customers of Gold Coast Fund Management Company will be meeting once again with the Ministry of Finance in the next two weeks to discuss their concerns over the 5.5 billion cities owed them. Now, this follows an inconclusive meeting with the Minister of State at the Finance Ministry, Amin Adam. We are privy that money is spent for our payments. The Finance Ministry claims it has been spent whilst we have not received those payments. In fact, they were not forthcoming with information on that request, that whether these monies have been spent by finance ministry or not. But they promised that in our subsequent meeting, which is going to be held next two weeks, they will provide full accounts on that money that the uh, ministry is claiming they have spent. On Wednesday, October 11, the Securities and Exchange Commission issued a statement blaming the delay of the payment of funds principally on a legal action by Gold Coast contesting the liquidation petition by the Office of the Registrar of Companies after the revocation of their license. Now, the group, however, says it is not moved by these comments. They made it point blank to us that they cannot sanction our full payments without dealing with the liquidation order issue in court. But we also put out an argument that whether the liquidation order or not, this partial bill out of 50,000 capped amount paid some of the, our customers entirely off. Because those whose investment were not more than 50,000, though there's a liquidation case pending in court, the partial bailout paid them off completely. So the government has no grounds to use that unless they get liquidation or that they will not pay us. If it happens that way, it means that the government is punishing those of the investors who invested more. The Finance Ministry has agreed to meet with the Attorney General and the Securities and Exchange Commission to find a level ground where all parties are satisfied. For now, the aggrieved customers say their protest remains suspended pending their meeting with the Ministry in two weeks. Judith Brown, TV3 News, Finance Ministry. Accra.